Hello, and welcome back to Hypertension Resistant to Treatment, the podcast where we give you the latest health research and what it means for you. I'm Dr. Tanya, and today we're talking about a significant new study that links COVID-19 to a long-term risk of autoimmune and auto-inflammatory disorders. This research highlights how COVID-19 might leave some people vulnerable to conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, alopecia, and even Crohn's disease long after they've recovered from the virus. The study recently published in JAMA Dermatology followed over 6 million people in South Korea split into two groups, about half tested positive for COVID-19 while the other half had not. Researchers tracked participants for more than 180 days to see if they developed any new health issues. The results showed a clear increase in autoimmune and autoinflammatory disorders among people who had COVID-19, with the risk notably higher for severe cases, Delta infections, and unvaccinated individuals. When we talk about autoimmune conditions, we mean diseases where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks itself. Examples from the study include conditions like alopecia areata, where immune attacks cause hair loss, vitiligo, where skin pigment cells are targeted, rheumatoid arthritis, which affects the joints, and Crohn's disease impacting the digestive tract. One theory behind this link is that COVID-19 could push the immune system into an overactive state. For some patients, this heightened response doesn't shut down even after the virus is gone and the immune system starts mistakenly targeting healthy cells. The risk of developing these disorders was even greater among specific groups. For instance, people with severe cases or those who were unvaccinated had a higher likelihood of developing autoimmune issues. Severe cases generally mean higher viral loads. More of the virus is present in the body, placing greater strain on the immune system, which could increase the risk of long-term complications. And in terms of vaccination, it's clear from this study that vaccines play a dual role. They not only reduce the severity of the infection, but may also help in lowering the chances of autoimmune issues down the line. This provides another reason why health experts emphasize vaccination, not just to prevent the virus, but to potentially lower the risk of lingering health issues. What's also notable is the need for long-term monitoring and care for COVID-19 patients, especially those at higher risk. Initially, we thought of COVID-19 as just a respiratory illness, but now we're seeing how it affects many systems in the body. For patients who had severe cases or specific risk factors, it's crucial to follow up with healthcare providers regularly which can help identify these autoimmune or autoinflammatory issues early. Symptoms to be aware of include joint pain, sudden hair loss, changes in skin pigmentation, or persistent digestive problems. Catching symptoms early makes it easier to manage or treat them before they progress. So what does this all mean? First, it highlights the importance of self-care and medical follow-up for those who've recovered from COVID-19. Even if you're feeling fine, checking in with your healthcare provider could make a real difference if issues arise later. For those who had severe cases, an open conversation with your doctor could help in identifying steps to stay ahead of any potential health complications. This research also underscores the benefits of vaccination or booster shots in reducing the severity of COVID-19 and potentially the risk of long-term complications like autoimmune issues. As we continue to learn more about COVID-19 and its long-term effects, studies like this remind us of the complexity of the virus and how it impacts health beyond just the initial infection. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Hypertension Resistant to Treatment. Remember to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss an episode. And if you found this information helpful, 
share it with someone who might benefit from it too. Take care of yourself, stay informed, and as always, stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one.